Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to be going over our recording lab. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. It's uh, effectively we're going to be using Pro Tools. We're going to go over again, remember when we record, we're going to use all three stages. We're going to use Capture Stage, Storage Stage, and Monitor Stage. So let's go over those again and we'll go over each of those uh, with, with our lab format. So first thing, uh, Capture Stage. That's where we're going to be uh, using either a, a mic or a direct input uh, where we pick that out. You know, if it's an acoustic instrument, or obviously we're going to need a mic, like my voice. It's going to need a microphone. Um, if it was, say, like a keyboard or a drum machine, uh, we might just be able to plug that straight in because it's got its own line level output. We'll just be able to plug that right into the direct input. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, sometimes uh, your mixer might not have a direct input on it. You might actually need a direct uh, input box, uh, which is pretty cool. We'll talk about that. Uh, I think we already did when we talked about our mics, but you know, if you want to review that, we can. Um, uh, next stage, once we've picked our microphone uh, during this uh, capture stage, we're going to want to plug it in. Uh, we want to plug it in and get it from that mic level up to what we call that line level. Uh, so we're going to use a preamp uh, to adjust the level uh, with uh, within our mixer uh, or a standalone preamp. Just anything that's going to boost that signal from mic level to line level. Um, and then we're going to want to convert it to digital um, so that our Pro Tools can recognize it. So that's why we're going to use an analog uh, to digital converter. Um, so just go over that again. We're using a, a microphone for my voice. So that microphone is plugged into my mixer. Um, I'm using my iPad to control that mixer. So let's Let's pull up that iPad real quick so y'all can see that. So within my uh, my iPad here, I've got, let me scroll over so you can get past the uh, watermark there. Uh, so I've got my condenser mic and I've got a dynamic mic uh, plugged in. Right now my condenser mic uh, right here on channel five uh, and my dynamic mic right there on uh, channel six. Um, so within our mixer, we're gonna have our preamp our preamp is going to allow us uh, to get more gain to get up to that line level. You know, if I was to, to back this level down on my condenser mic, you know, you can still hear me on the dynamic mic, but you know, as it goes, you know, my, my levels are low. So we want to get that to a good level. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, hey. Check one, two. Check, check. So you can kind of see, see my, my levels there. And I do that with my gain preamp. Uh, that's what we're using to uh, increase our voltage. That then hits the uh, analog to digital converter, uh, you know, within the digital mixer, and that's going to be where we can then pick it up in in our Pro Tools, um, which is pretty cool. So let's check out some Pro Tools action. Uh, within our Pro Tools, uh, we can create a uh, a new track, new session. Uh, so first, uh, you know, let's create a new session here. So we do file, create new. Uh, I already have one uh, created, so I'm just going to do open session. Yeah, I can go through and select, you know, wherever I wanted it to. Or if I wanted to create a new one, I could go ahead and do create new, label him, uh, make sure I label him. Oh, let's see here. Uh, make sure we get him labeled properly. Uh, make sure you've selected your correct bit depth, sample rate, uh, and location. Uh, so you want to make sure all of that's find easily findable for you, so that way you can find it later. And then we would create. Um, but again, I've already created one here. So let's uh, get back to our slide here. So that's the capture stage. So we're picking our microphones, we're plugging them into a preamp, and we're making sure that preamp has level. Uh, the next stage is our storage stage. So that's where, uh, within a digital audio workspace, that's where we're going to be storing for Pro Tools. Uh, Pro Tools is a digital audio workspace, um, so we'll be able to save our session, our uh, audio files within that. Um, so uh, we just went over creating a new session. So once we've uh, created that session, we want to label it and save it again in some somewhere that we can find it. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, create a new audio track. So let's go back to uh, to our Pro Tools. Within Pro Tools, we want to create a new track. So we do track new. It's going to pop up this dialog box here. This is where we can select uh, whether we want how many tracks we want. Uh, we can select the whether we want it to be a mono input or a stereo input. We can select it to be an audio track, a master fader, uh, an aux input, instrument track. We can go over that on another time, but today we're going to be using audio tracks. And we'll go ahead and do samples. We go ahead and label it here if we want to. 
if I know this is going to be, say, my condenser mic, I'll go ahead and label it. Cool. So now we've got a, uh, a, a an audio track with, that has now been labeled. So let's go back to our uh, bit here. So we've created a new audio track. We've labeled the new audio track. So now we want to make sure we've selected our input and our output to align with uh, the uh, channel that we've chosen, you know, in our mixer or, you know, our preamp uh, selection. Mostly the big deal is it's going to correspond, oops, it's going to correspond to your analog to digital interface. So we'll be able to see that by, uh, we can go to view, uh, mix window or edit window. We're in the edit window now. So we can view our I.O. That's our ins and outs. So we can click that. Once we've got our I.O. viewable, we can select our input. Uh, so if we've got our condenser mic, let's come back to our mixer. So our condenser mic is plugged into channel 5. So within our Pro Tools, we're going to select input 5. Again, I have a 32 channel interface, so that's why I'm seeing all 32 inputs there. But input 5 is my condenser mic. Um, also want to go ahead and uh, dictate the outputs. Um, right now on my uh, mixer, uh, let's get that pulled up for you. Right now on my mixer, I've got uh, channel 3 set up and ready to go for my Pro Tools output for that condenser mic. So let's go ahead and output him out to output 3. Check, check. So we're still not seeing him there. Um, so let's go back to our, our slide here. So now we've uh, selected our inputs and our outputs on that new audio track. Now let's turn on the inspector. Uh, this allows us to monitor uh, the signal before we actually record. And let's go ahead and check those meters. So again, let's go back to Pro Tools. We're going to select our inspector. That's this little I right here. Check, check. Cool, so now we can start to see my, uh, my signal there. And if you notice uh, on my mixer, check, check, I'm now starting to see signal on uh, my Pro Tools output for that condenser mic, output three. Oh, let's go ahead and sum him to mono. Check, check. And then we want to, uh, let's make sure, uh, oh yeah, right now you're still monitoring my live feed, so I'm gonna turn my live feed down. Check, 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 check. So now we're just listening to Pro Tools output. Uh, remember, uh, uh, right now I've got my mixer set up in such a way uh, to where uh, anything that I output out my main out, I've got plugged back into channels one and two, uh, which is what y'all are able to hear. Uh, I'm streaming effectively to input one. In, my input one and two is what's streaming uh, to my video recording source, my OBS. So that's why I've got Pro Tools output to the main out. Uh, we can see it here. Remember we have to, how we have to select uh, our bus outs. So let's come up to that guy. And you can see here that I've, I've got my main uh, output selected. So that's how he's able to make his way to the main output. Let's see. So uh, the other thing we want to make sure we're doing is whenever we're monitoring uh, uh, through Pro Tools, uh, we, in our mixer, we're no longer listening to the mic preamp. We're now listening to our uh, USB return. So that's, that's how output three is output three in USB world. Uh, so that's how I have that selected there. If I, ha if I select over here, check, check. Cool. So obviously you wouldn't be able to hear me if, if we're back into mic because there's not a, a mic plugged into channel th channel three. We're listening to Pro Tools output three, which is output USB three. So let's come back to our slide. So once we've uh, turned on that inspector, uh, we've made sure that our, our meters look good. So let's go again. Let's let's look at those meters. Check, check. Hey, hey. So I could probably give a give a little more meter there. Let's see, so I'll go back to my, my mixer. I'm going to increase the preamp. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, check one, two. Hey, hey, 
And again, we're just listening to that condenser mic coming off of uh, Pro Tools. And then I think if we go to the slide, um, we effectively just have to arm our track and then we'll record. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to turn uh, our arm track on to this guy. What that means is whenever we press record play, it's going to record onto the arm track. Uh, if the track wasn't armed, it would say there wasn't an arm track. Or if, you know, if I had multiple tracks, it's only going to record onto the track that is armed. So then uh, to record, uh, record play. So we'll do record play. Check one, two, hey, hey. Check one, two. Back in our mixer view, check, check. Hey, one, two. Got good meter. Check, check. So now we see that we have uh, we have recorded a track. Let's uh, let's listen to it. Uh, you, you won't be able to hear me. I'm gonna put my other tracks back up so you can so we can still communicate. Check check. Check one two. Check check. Hey hey. Cool. So now let's see if we can hear the output from Pro Tools. So it's again it's outputting out output three. Let's go to my mixer so that we can see that. Pro Tools and press play first. I guess. Check one, two. Hey, hey. Check one, two. Here's back our, in our mixer view. Check, check. Hey, one, two. Got good meter. Check, check. Cool. So we all saw this is my live mic. That was my uh, recorded mic from Pro Tools. So it's pretty cool uh, that we've got, got that option. Um, so now that... Uh, Let's go back to the our slide here. So that's how we were able to record. Um, so now we're we've got our stuff stored into Pro Tools. So now let's figure out. Uh, you know, I want to kind of follow the path all the way to where we can uh, monitor it in our ears uh, or out of our uh, our speakers. So let's go to our next slide here. Cool. So now let's uh, let's review a monitoring stage. Uh, this is uh, where we uh, select our outputs in the DAW, which we already did with the uh, the audio track. We uh, outputted the uh, audio track out output three, uh, so that's how it uh, corresponded with our our mixer USB uh, uh, output three, uh, and we were able to uh, correspond that to channel three uh, in our mixer. Uh, that's a line level channel. So let's uh, let's take a look at our our mi mixer again here. So the output from Pro Tools here on channel three uh, comes via our, we've selected our source instead of sourcing from uh, mic uh, preamp, we're sourcing from the USB. So uh, since we're sourcing from the USB, our Pro Tools should line up there within our line level channel. If you notice when we're using USB, we only get a trim, uh, we don't get uh, a gain because it's already, it's already been gained uh, to line level when we were uh, doing our capture stage. So here uh, we'll have our uh, uh, Pro Tools Out 3 uh, into a line level channel. So let's see. Um, we can uh, you know pick our channel channel choice. You know we could output we could have outputted out any output we wanted to. But we just chose channel three. Um, then we want to assign that channel to go out of a particular output. So again, we'll go back to our mixer view. And within that mixer, we have uh, channel three is outputting uh, out of our main output. Just the same as right now, my live feed is going to my main output, which is how you're able to, again, monitor it here in uh, channels one and two. Um, so we have uh, the condenser mic output on three. Uh, if I click in on here, uh, if you'll notice uh, within here, this is my main output. That's kind of like that uh, where we'd select uh, stereo bus, left-right bus, multi-track. Um, effectively, it's just telling it what output is this channel going to go out of. And we're going to go out of uh, main out one whenever we increase that fader. So go back here. Um, and so then uh, the next step in that process 
is our line level uh, output to amplifier. So if we have the channel summed, uh, all the channels summed to the main left right out, uh, then we can take that left right out and plug it into either a headphone amp uh, or a, uh, a powered speaker. Uh, or if the speaker is a passive speaker, we'd have to plug into a power amp. The power amp would increase it to speaker level and then would power that passive speaker. Uh, you know, because remember, uh, you know, speaker level, remember we've got mic level, we bring it to line level with our preamp, and then we use an amplifier to get it to speaker level which is how you're able to you know, generate uh, the mechanical energy necessary for a speaker uh, you know, to produce a, an acoustic signal. Um, so awesome, so that's the, the, uh, that's the monitoring stage. Um, cool, so uh, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Uh, please let me know if you'll have any questions. Uh, thanks again.